Thursday, the 15th of April, is the first edition of Demo Day Europe, a free online event where tech suppliers introduce themselves and showcase their solution. Today, I speak with Bert van Trierum from Intelligence Group, and I would love to know uh, what you do at Intelligence Group. Uh, hello, Bert, how are you? Hi, hi, Neil, thank you. Thank you, I'm fine, thank you. Hope you, you too. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm good too. Yeah. I, I wondered, uh, you are from Intelligence, I, you are from I, uh, Intelligence, Intelligence Group. Group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are from IG Intelligence. IG is okay. Yeah, you are from IG, I'm gonna say that. Uh, so what is your what is your job at IG uh, and uh, and maybe what is IG? Uh, well, to start with uh, what I do at, at IG, uh, I was uh, a partner in Intelligence Group. Geert Jan Waasdorp is the founder in 2003, and I joined the company in 2007 uh, as a partner at, in the role of a commercial director. Uh, I be, and before that time, I worked. Uh, in media, so with the uh, the Persgroep, that's a Dutch uh, publisher of uh, national newspapers, yeah. where I was responsible for the labor market. So all the job postings were within my uh, department. And but I wanted to um, advise our advertisers better, uh, also based on independent labor market data. So then I bumped into Geert Jan, who just had founded IG just two years before. And he could help us out on this information. So we did, uh, that was a, a double success. Once we, we, we could advise our advertisers better. And on the other hand, we could do our own marketing better. But I was so enthusiastic and excited about what Intelligence Group did. Uh, and they were growing and growing. So then I joined in 2007, worked at it uh, until 2012. Uh, then did some other things like working for an ATS company. Uh, but uh, ever since the end of 2018, I'm back because Gerjan called me and asked me if I could help him out on the international market for IG. Yeah. So here we are. So and about, uh, about Intelligence Group, what we do is we collect and supply labor market data. And we help our clients to use that in their day-to-day -day business, make it useful for them. And we have been conducting our own independent labor market ever since 2003, uh, throughout 28 countries within Europe, and ever since a few years, also the United States. And uh, all this information uh, is collected in one of our tools, one of our dashboards, and that dashboard is called uh, Giant, uh, all based on our own survey. And the, the survey is called the Global Talent Acquisition Monitor, GTAM. And with that information, you can find the data of, well, almost every kind of profession or occupation you want to uh, be informed about within Europe or the US. Uh, and in that manner, we're trying to, uh, well, make recruitment more cost efficient, more effective, and also more fun. Uh, yeah. Apart from the toolings, we also do bespoke uh, research, bespoke analysis, and bespoke advice. For example, for, uh, well, location analysis or uh, location policies. Uh, employee branding, but also things like diversity and, and so on. So that's, in a nutshell, what we do at uh, Intelligence Group. Yeah, I'm very quickly going to ask them if they're going to be a bit, a bit quiet because I have to keep oh, I, I don't hear anything, so... Uh, yeah, they're, they're talking like right in front of my door right now, so it's really, uh, <laughs> just to be sure, uh, I'm be back in two seconds. All right. But then, of course, you will be presenting. Uh, I don't know if you will be presenting or you will, if someone else from IG will be presenting at the breakout at Demo Day. But yes, I will do do the presentation on the the fifteenth of April in the the Demo Day. Yeah, yeah. and, and so... what what I want to show is 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 obviously the the tool giant uh, to yeah, show people what insights they can get about their target groups. Yeah. And the group giants, is that specifically what the demo day, will, what your breakout will be about, or is it is it more? Or... 
Yeah, it's about uh, giant. So that's the, 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 the dashboard it makes it very easy to use and uh, have a look at what your uh, target groups, for example, how, how hard or how easy it is to recruit your certain kind of target. group. Let's say we need accountants. How many accountants are there in a certain market in your country or maybe in another country? Uh, are they actively looking for another job? Uh, how often are they being approached by recruiters? So you get an idea how much effort you have to put in to recruit these accountants. But also information about vacancy data, market pressure. So how many job postings have there been over the last 12 months for accountants? And who were the advertisers? Who were the agencies involved? What were the yeah, the, the job names that were used within the uh, within the job the, the job posting sorry uh, also get some insights in the media behavior of your target group so for example you can imagine that an accountant uses other media than for example a nurse so you, you and that's also in one country but also between countries so there's a lot of differences between these uh, different uh, target groups. Um, so media behavior, what kind of media are they using when they are actively looking for another job, but also their day-to-day, -day, just day-to-day -day media behavior in general online. So you can try to get in touch with your target groups there. Other, on the other end, we also showed the drivers what motivates people in their work. Because what we still see a lot is a lot of job, job postings with what are your responsibilities, what you have to do, what kind of uh, experience you need to have. But where is the, where's the offer? There's not a lot of offers in job ads still. So what, we, what you can do with our information is try to trigger them on things they find important. But again, you can imagine that an accountant thinks other things are important in his work than a nurse. So if you know what they are interested in, it could be working from home, could be a company car, could be uh, a salary, could be uh, a pension, whatever. If you know it, and if you use it in your communication with your target group, in this matter, the accountants, then you'll see that you get much more and much better applicants than you used to get. So that's that's one of my favorites in in the information we uh, we we supply is the insights of what candidates think is important in doing their job, and that makes how you can trigger them or pursue them to apply at your company, make a switch. <clears throat> There's also information about international mobility, social demographics, uh, the candidates, uh, candidate experience, et cetera, et cetera. And that's all in one dashboard, easy to use. So that's what I'm going to show on the, on the 15th of April. Yeah, I'm, I'm really intrigued by everything you've said so far. So uh, I'm really wondering what the, right. the, full, the full version of the story will be. Uh, yeah. But for, for who will, will it be more uh, uh, relevant to come watch your, because uh, I'm, not an HR manager, but is it for like HR manager for big companies, small companies, startups? Yeah. Well, you come watch your your breakout. Look, looking at our client base, we got the big uh, multinationals, we got the big RPO, but we but we always always also have uh, the smaller agencies, for example. It's mainly used by recruiters, recruitment, whether you're at an employer or whether you're at an agency. But it's also of importance for HR, because if you know how you can trigger people to come work for you, you also know as HR how you can make people in that kind of profession stay longer at your company, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll show that on the 15th. But important for recruitment marketeers, employer branding people, uh, but also bid management. Tender management, uh, big RPOs, smaller RPOs, staffing, staffing companies, executive search, but also the media. 
that's that's how I got to know intelligence group far away uh, uh, long ago because I wanted just like a job board wants to do his marketing well and uh, advise his uh, advertisers on a higher level. So I think it's it's quite a broadened group of uh, people who will attend recruitment tech, which this information is very interesting for. Yeah, so we've come to the final question of the uh, of the interview, and this is the most uh, let's say a commercial question. Uh, if you would have to compare yeah. yourself to other uh, providers uh, of those dashboards, for example. What sets your dashboard or your, what sets IG apart from the others? Why should they come to you and not others, for example? <laughs> well, well, everybody, uh, ever since years and years, everybody in this business is talking about data. Data here, data there, data everywhere, big data. But nobody uses it. Almost nobody uses it because maybe it's a bit scary Maybe it's too scientific. Maybe it's too difficult. Maybe it's too highbrow. So what I will want to show uh, at the atten attendance uh, on the 15th is showing by this tool giant. I want to try to reduce that cold water fear they may have for using data and showing them that it can help you. It can help you in your day-to-day -day recruitment business to get, to get a better uh, or maybe even uh, uh, improve and increase your own conversion rates. It can help you manage the expectations of your boss or the expectations of the hiring manager or the expectations of your external client because they think, well, why, why can't I get 20 accountants within a week? If you can show the independent labor market data, you can change their change and manage their expectations from you. But it can also help you with your own marketing or your own new business pitch or your sales pitch or helping you to save money uh, on media, which could be ir irrelevant for your target groups and you're still spending money on. So, That's what I'm trying to uh, show on the 15th. Don't be afraid of data, but use them for your day-to-day -day business. I will certainly be watching. Uh, I don't think I'm afraid of data, even though I, I don't use it that much uh, as, a, as right. a journalist. But uh, yeah, yeah, I certainly will be watching and uh, I hope uh, others will too. Uh, do you have any last words for the, for the viewers at home maybe? Be there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kort en bondig. <laughs> Kort en bondig. Ja, yeah, I don't know uh, like, what's it like in English, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> make a long story short. Yeah, to make a long story short. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you for the interview, and uh, I will see you at uh, Demo Day Europe. You're welcome, Neil. Thank you.